Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and this is what's happening. This is where I'm at. As we're about to enter the last two world or two levels of the second world, you can see, you can see north of us, there is snow. <laughs> and my my very yard, just three feet away from me, snow is coming down like a blizzard. It's, it's really crazy. I was hoping that we would get to... You know, I'm, I'm gonna get into the first level. I was hoping that I would be able to play the snow world while I had snow. And I had snow right when I began this Let's Play. At about four or five inches. Maybe, maybe six. Maybe six inches. But it, it all melted. And, and now it's back. I, I might be able to play the snow world with a bunch of snow on the ground. Butane pain. The, this is the climax of of this this narrative first trees developed inbuilt saw blades in order to more functionally no, more efficiently harvest lumber now they're heat treating the lumber as it's be, as it's growing so we have a time limit for our platforming so i need to i need to get a move on thankfully this this metal power up doesn't change our weight at all. Uh, I think that's just the furnace. What does that do? What is this doing? Did it turn them off? Oh, okay. So we need to go back and press that. Well, thankfully I can get the fruit now. It's gonna be it's going to be fairly easy. Uh, I have a yeah, exact. I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I don't want. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I, I didn't think that would work, but it did. And I don't think we have a time limit. Let's do some backtracking. Oh, is that another one? Oh, it's another one. Man. No. Grab it. Oh. I'm surprised that works. I I am legitimately surprised that that works just like that. I didn't think that would work. Oh. It's, it's really hard to platform backwards like this. I can't really see where I'm going, and I can't change the camera. But we're back. Okay, what does this do? Uh, just in case, I'm going to get a metal power up because I think, yeah, exactly. It, there's going to be a, a dot trail, and maybe I can put this power up to good use. I'm not. I don't think that these flames would have hurt us. It did turn the flames back on, and it brought us to a different place. I don't remember if that first place. What, what is this for? Oh. Oh, this is where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from. Okay. Well, we're launching. I, I think it created that. It's it's kind of hard to tell where we're going and what we're doing. Ooh. When all the tops of these trees all look like that. Is that from the last world? I think that might be from the last world. Remember, there were oranges on it. So maybe this area is... Uh, I'm going to use that in a moment. Maybe this area is actually the same area over and over again, and it's just developing. The tree industry is is growing. Sour man. Oh no! Usually that works. Oh no! Oh, I lived. Well, I just jumped in midair. I can't believe I lived that. I survived. Uh, well, this will be the proof. Yeah, okay, this is where we were. Let's let's try to not fail that. Perfect. There's a spider over there. We'll see that later. And we're back. Now let's see if I can do that again without failing this time. And instead of doing that platforming, I'm just gonna do that. Very risky, but I did it. And I failed that thing the first time. I will not fail it again. I'm missing some pack dots though, but remember I'm not going for those. Grabbing an apple. And what is this f trying to accomplish? Uh, that's... wait. Why? I don't understand. A lot of, of avenues here are taking us backwards, and I don't know why. We could have got here from anywhere, so what was the point of this? I'm, I'm going to try. I, I can already see it now. You guys are thinking, oh, he's going to take a, a long time this episode. Even after we had a super long episode last time. No, 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 no. I have learned 
I have learned this is not going to be a long episode. I am going to make this short and painless. Could not see there. In order to make up for last episode, which I think is entirely fair. I had a developer interview last episode. I couldn't... I had to take my time. And getting to prove... I, I haven't gotten hit thus far with the metal power. Oh, we're about to run out of it, aren't we? Uh, okay, we're good. Let's get out. Get out of here. Jump over that. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we are invincible while metal. Ooh, this looks fun. So I don't need to worry about ever getting hit. Do I want to... I'm gonna do a short roll. Yeah, cause I I, I wanna I want to savor that. That it's not every day you get to do stuff like that. That reminds me of a oh man, when I was young, I went to this camp. Actually, I I now live. I, it was about 100 miles away from me when I went, but now I think it's like 50 because I moved. Uh, and there were three lakes on this camp. It was called um, Cascades Camp, and it was in a a town called Yelm. Oh, careful platforming. Galaxian? No. And I, I remember we had a, there was a giant slide made of a like this this tarp. It probably was about 150 feet downhill, and they would put soap on it. Uh, oh, I'm not sure if I want to go here yet. That that's the problem. I, I I want to experience everything that this game has, and for that sometimes I have to second guess myself self and backtrack. See, there is no way that this isn't a dead end, right? There's no way, this this is a dead end through and through. Let's run across the rope. This is just an opportunity for... Ooh. It's just an opportunity for some fruit, I guess. Which I'll, I'll take. I guess that's what I'm going for. I'm not going for the collectibles as I've said like a hundred times so far. But I am going for experiences, and this is an experience. I, let's jump. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. My palms are definitely not not coated in in various liquids right now. Okay, now we can go back, go over these trees. It's so neat. I love this world. I love this world. Oh yeah, I was talking about this uh, this slide. So yeah, it was like 150 feet. They would put soap on it, and you would you'd go really fast. It was it was amazing, great experience. You kind of miss that out, miss out on that when you're adult. I mean, they could do a quote unquote adult camps, but they're just not the same. They're just not the same. If you have an opportunity as a kid to go to a camp, you you have to because you're gonna remember that for the rest of your life. You always will. I remember one of my favorite camp experiences. Uh, I feel really bad, but uh, it was uh, at this this camp that uh, my that my church was was holding, and it, there were a bunch of other churches there. It was like four churches. It, it was it, this was also at, at Yelm, and they had the boys in these these actual cabins, the girls in like mini houses, and then they had the young boys in uh the there's this train and each box car of this train was its own cabin it was it was great i i, I kind of envied them because they had the cooler cabins but we were a good 10 minute walk away so at like maybe maybe midnight i think it was i also don't remember where that button was about midnight uh my cabin with our cabin leader mind you we all dressed up in turbans uh, because we had uh, the, the idea came from this guy this kid we had in our in my cabin who <laughs> He was he was born in Kenya, and he was he's like a Kenyan native So he, he really looked the part and and he he put this white turban on and it, it was kind of terrifying But we all put on turbans and we just went into these these box cars. Oh secret. Oh Not a good secret and and we just <laughs> We beat these kids senseless with, uh, with these pillows, and... Oh, bats. Hi, bats. I cannot kill the bats, maybe? Oh, I cannot kill the bats. Okay, the bats... No! What? What? What happened? <laughs> that, that was not in the script. All right, as I was saying, I had this brilliant story about beating kids senseless. So we basically kick down their door and we beat them with pillows and then we leave. And 
one we we did like two or three of these these cabins and the the kids were like middle school age i would say and and, and we were probably late middle school or maybe early high school and then the final cabin we we raided in this manner uh they were probably elementary school and we come in we like we get a few hits in oh and then the the cabin leader's like you guys get out oh i killed him wow and and we we left and the next morning one of these these children goes up to my cabin leader whose idea it was by the way and he just like looks up at him really sullenly and he's like you made us cry. <laughs> Apparently they had come back from a really emotional like chapel. What is this for? I have no idea what this is for. And and we we busted it immediately as they were like opening up and oh man, did I feel bad about that? But also that's kind of what camp is all about is getting those those experiences. <laughs> Just I, I don't, I'm not sure why I lead it into camp stories, but I, I guess this area brings it out of me, the snow brings it out in me, and uh, this, I, maybe this area is so close to my heart because it reminds me of camp. I don't know. I, I didn't regularly climb trees this big or, you know, launch 300 feet into the sky. Oh, wait, is this level over? Is this level over? Oh, that... Either this was really short, or I made last episode's final level uh, immensely long. Huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the last area. It's a little bit different, but this is actually the last area that we were in. It just, oops, just remixed a little bit, because this climb is exactly the same. I mean, I'm not saying they are reusing assets because this level, I mean, the fact that I, I realize this is a very similar level this late shows that it's substantially different, but that's cool. That's kind of cool, and there's still bats over there. Just random bats. All right, let's complete this level, get into the topic of the day, and then fight the boss. Today's topic is a bit abstract, because to understand it, we need to flip the calendar back to the late 80s. Console gaming was the up-and-coming next evolution of the video game industry. Even then, the creators of the popular arcade game Pac-Man were pulling 40% of their revenue from game sales on the Nintendo Famicom system. This success brought both them and Hudson Soft the special privilege of producing their own cartridges, maximizing profits. Our story truly begins in 1989, when this license was up for renewal and when Nintendo revoked it. Masaya Nakamura, the founder and president of Namco, complained to Nintendo, publicly. The game industry is still new. I want it to grow soundly. Nintendo is monopolizing the market, which is not good for the future of the industry. Nintendo should consider itself the leader of the video game industry and accept the responsibility that goes with it. That was not the only complaint that Namco gave. It was accompanied by a lawsuit against Nintendo for monopolistic business practices, Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamuichi responded. Frankly, Namco is envious of us. If they are not satisfied with the Nintendo and the way we do business, they should create their own market. That is the advantage of the free market. Namco did just that, moving their support over to the Sega Genesis and Dreamcast, the Sony PlayStation, and eventually the Xbox. This move cemented them as a sworn competitor of the industry behemoth. You see, this was in the era of the console wars, where developers were not ashamed to sling mud at their competitors. Namco was unable to successfully boycott Nintendo due to monetary struggles. Now missing 40% of their revenue, they were forced to drop the lawsuit and obtain a standard Nintendo development contract, just like everyone else, from a very smug Nintendo. In the following years, they would release a few games on Nintendo consoles here and there, but the vast majority of their releases were not on Nintendo systems. At this point in the story, we have reached the early 2000s, and Hiroshi Yamuichi is succeeded by Satoru Iwata. With the GameCube falling behind competitors, Iwata began restructuring Nintendo, reaching out and befriending Capcom. Enter Pac-Man World 2! Finally! This game was released on the GameCube a few months prior to Iwata becoming head of Nintendo. Over the next few years, it became the 56th best-selling game among all three consoles 
prompting Nintendo to rebrand the game as a player's choice title and repackage it with Pac-Man Versus. This was the very first instance of the two companies collaborating. Not only was this game developed by Shigeru Miyamoto himself, but the announcer of the game sounded very familiar. Yes, this was Charles Martinet as Mario. Even as a child, I found this awkward. Like two divorced parents, peacefully eating Thanksgiving dinner together for your sake alone. Ah, pumpkin and crow pie definitely helps digest one's swallowed pride. Would you pass the differences that I set aside, dear? This marked the end of a conflict caused by the pride of two companies. Nintendo would later permit Namco to include Link in Soul Calibur 2. In 2005, Namco would merge with another company on good standings with Nintendo, Bandai, to become Bandai Namco. In 2007, Nintendo would finish their slow acquisition of Monolith Soft from Bandai Namco. During my research, my intent was to place Pac-Man World 2 into the timeline of Namco's estrangement and reconciliation. I was surprised to find out that this game was actually the catalyst. This game had a part to play in Bandai Namco and Nintendo being on such good terms today, and without it, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate might not have had the Bandai Namco logo in its credits. I'll wager to guess that many of you are surprised to hear that there had been bad blood between these two companies. I still find it strange whenever they do anything together. When I was a kid, it was common knowledge that they were competitors, and yet I was hard-pressed to find any proof that they were once public antagonists. I'm certain that neither of them wants this era to cast a shadow over their current collaborations. What's odd is that they tempted fate by re-releasing Pac-Man vs. on the Switch, but I'm glad they did. It's a memento of their rekindled partnership that should be recognized now that Bandai Namco has developed Smash Ultimate. Now, last episode I told you that this would not be a long video, so with no added fanfare, I think it's time that we finish this episode by beating the boss of World 2. Okay, let's let's get into Inky's blade o -matic before I, I start saying things that should be best saved for the outro of this episode. <clears throat> I, let's see, there's a name for the last one, or a voice for the last one. Um, come for the golden fruit pack, man. Spooky wanted me to think of a good cut down if you ever got, good cut down, if you ever got to me. I think my saw blade should do the trick. Hmm, that contraption doesn't look very strong. Some rev rolls into the body or butt bounces on the glass should do the trick. Okay, our, our primary mechanic- Oh, uh, saw blades! Okay, that's going to stay in the ground, so it's best if I jump- Oh! Wow. I didn't expect that. Okay, so not only can they hurt you, but they can just straight up insta-kill you. I need to be very careful. In fact, moving target is probably best. Probably best to start debouncing constantly, make myself as hard to hit as possible, because those things have a lot of knockback attached to them. Okay, so they're going to stick in the ground once per cycle, and I'm going to do stupid stuff like that. Let's see if I can rev roll into him. I, I did. Let's get, so, get a slice of life, and then, whoo, dodge the saw blades, and then land on one. Uh, let's get another slice of life. Get away from me. Okay, one of the saw blades disappeared. Looks like there is an on-screen limit. I missed him. Got him. I got him. Whew. Think think you're pretty smart, don't you? I'll knock you off that platform. Well, you already did, so please don't do it again. Uh, I'm going to get my life. What? I want to blame the camera there, because I've already established that it's a bit wonky in places, but I don't think that was the camera. I think that was user error. Uh, please stop. Yes. What? I think I'm going about this the wrong way. <laughs> Let's go get the life again, because it looks like I can get a net gain every single time. I believe what I was supposed to do was that. That's what I was supposed to do. Not rev rolling him to him. He was a little bit too high for that. What are you doing? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's uncalled for. Get me out of here. How are you going to attack me? Oh, good. He started that attack. A little bit late there. I think what I'm supposed to do now is butt bounce into the... into the glass. So let's... do that! Looks like you... you could've... you could... wait. Looks like you still could've used a... 
Looks like you could still use a close shave. Can I just point out how the weird the glass looks for this enemy? It almost looks like ice. It's not breaking, it's it's melting. Get him! Oh! That... I need to be so careful of that. Let's take cover. Oh, nice. I think he only has one hit left on him. Uh, life? That might be greedy. Get... Oh, boy. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh, I got him! Oh! I was going for the life, but he got in the way. Woo! The golden strawberry. Neat. <laughs> that was that was an anticlimactic end. I was just tried to get the life, and then he says, "Oh no! I need to protect that life. I must stop you." And then and then he did. I did not get the life, but he also did not get to keep his life. That's it for World 2. That's, 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 oh, that's been so fun. I've, I've loved this world. And next time in Pal Plays Pac-Man World 2, we are going to be entering the ice world. And this will be the true test. If we go out of the ice world having enjoyed it, then this game is, is brilliant. It's amazing because m so many platformers mess up ice worlds. They make them frustrating by just adding ice physics or just tacking on really annoying mechanics. Mechanics that should never be in a platformer, but they the developers find excuses to put them in ice worlds. And I don't think that's going to happen here. Ice physics are a given for an ice world. That's just kind of the territory. But next time, we're going to be seeing how Pac-Man World 2 handles it. I release new episodes of Pac-Man World 2 every Tuesday and Thursday, and join me next time for Ice River Run. See you guys then.